Hello there, welcome to HSE Nation. Today, we're going to learn about something really cool, the fire tetrahedron. Have you ever wondered what makes a fire burn? Well, we're about to find out. Let's start with a little history. For a long time, people thought fire needed just three things, heat, fuel, and oxygen. They called this the triangle of combustion or fire triangle. But guess what? Scientists discovered there's actually a fourth thing needed for fire. It's called a chemical chain reaction. Pretty exciting, right? Now, instead of a triangle, we use something called a tetrahedron to show what fire needs. A tetrahedron is like a pyramid with four sides. Imagine you're holding a pyramid in your hand. That's what we're talking about. Let's look at each side of our fire tetrahedron. As you can see on the screen, we have first, oxygen. Fire needs oxygen from the air to keep burning. Second, heat. This is what makes things hot enough to catch fire. Third, fuel. This is the stuff that actually burns, like wood or paper. And fourth, the chemical chain reaction. This is the special process that keeps the fire going. Now, here's the really cool part. If you take away any one of these four things, the fire will go out. Let's think about that for a moment. Can you imagine ways to remove one of these elements? Think about it. Okay, now let's talk about how firefighters use this knowledge to put out fires. Fire extinguishers work by taking away one or more parts of the fire tetrahedron. It's like a magic trick, but with science. Let's look at some examples. When you spray water on a fire, you're lowering the temperature. The fire might get too cold to keep burning. If you use foam, you're creating a barrier that keeps oxygen away from the fire. Without oxygen, the fire can't breathe. Sometimes, firefighters might remove the fuel by moving things away from the fire or shutting off a gas line. And there are even special extinguishers that interfere with the chemical chain reaction. These use chemicals to stop the fire from spreading. Isn't it amazing how understanding the fire tetrahedron helps us fight fires? Now, let's try a fun activity together. Look around the room you're in right now. Can you spot things that could be fuel for a fire? Books, papers, plastic materials, and much more. Remember, it's important to keep these things away from heat sources to prevent fires. Before we wrap up, let's quickly review what we've learned. The fire tetrahedron has four sides, oxygen, heat, fuel, and chemical chain reaction. All four elements must be present for a fire to burn. Taking away any one element will put out the fire. Firefighters and fire extinguishers work by removing one or more of these elements. Understanding the fire tetrahedron isn't just interesting, it's also really important for fire safety. The more we know about how fires work, the better we can prevent them and stay safe. I hope you enjoyed learning about the fire tetrahedron today. Remember, fire safety is super important, so always be careful around things that can burn. If you want to learn more about fire safety, visit hsenation.com. At hsenation.com, you can find many articles, posters, and signs on fire safety. Thanks for joining me on this fiery adventure. Until next time, stay curious and stay safe.